So this one right here, Octavia's Buzz Hut, is not strictly vegan all the time. However, they are vegan on certain days. So you can check out the Instagram here. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this one right. Houston, Atlanta vegan. I guess they're trying to combine Houston and the Atlanta vibe, which is pretty similar. They're known for their chicken sandwich, but they also have tacos, loaded french fries, and hamburgers. So y'all, this one right here, woo, I did not know how it was gonna bless me. It was 100 degrees outside, which actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And this was the first place I had to stop at the fest. As y'all can see, I was super excited. I was so ready. <laughs> y'all was waiting for my mango and pina colada. Those were the two flavors I got. And let me tell you, this is Italian ice, but I don't know what it is but it tastes like ice cream. I was expecting it to be more icy, but it was so creamy and thick, just like ice cream. And y'all, I was so pumped, y'all. Look, look, look. <laughs> no, no, I don't think y'all got it. Look at that, look at that thickness and richness. Y'all was so good. Ooh, it hit the spot. But y'all, then I ran into this ice cream spot. I had to finish my Italian ice, but I had to go ahead and let them give a shout out. Hey, what's up? We're sunny outside, so we have vegan ice cream. So the way copyright is set up, I had to cut her off, but just in case y'all didn't catch it, they do make all the ice cream from scratch. And just to top it off, oh boy is a vegan personal chef, y'all. Oh, vegan personal chef, okay. So yeah, if you're in the Houston area and you're looking for a vegan personal chef, I dropped the Instagram here as well. Y'all, they were such a sweet couple. I had to go ahead and grab some butter pecan ice cream. By the time I got to eat it, it was kind of melted because I had to finish up my Italian ice and it was 105 degrees outside. But y'all, their ice cream was so good. It was some of the best vegan ice cream I've had. It was so creamy and so delicious, y'all. It was on point. So now this juice company right here, they make all their juice with alkaline water. And y'all, I grabbed some guava punch and it was so refreshing. It was so good. This company is called Taste This, but I could not find an Instagram or anything. But I did post the phone number here in case y'all want to contact them and reach out. Unfortunately, I didn't catch the name of this company, but my homegirl was so into it. They had so many teas, and I think they had ice cream and cotton candy, all kind of different stuff, but a lot of teas. He went ahead and gave me a sample. Here, I'm like asking my homegirl, like, girl, what is this? What he just gave me? <laughs> you know, I had to make sure before I just drunk it, and she said it was called energy tea. So I went ahead and bottoms up, and yeah, it was good, y'all. It was good. So I bet some of y'all didn't even know they have vegan cleaning products. Yes, y'all, vegan cleaning products. This company, Signature Suds, was out here representing at the Vegan Fest, but I'll let them tell y'all for themselves. We are Signature Suds. You can find us on Instagram, online, we ship nationwide. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's right, y'all. You heard right. They ship nationwide, and they had natural produce wash, glass cleaner, hand soap, laundry detergent. They had it all, y'all. So this line right here was the longest line at the festival from what I seen. And I don't know if it was because it was in the front or because everybody loved Creole food. But listen, y'all, this place right here, we had to get in that line and see what was up. It was called a Voodoo Vegan Food. Of course, I put the information here. And yeah, y'all, we did not know what we was getting ourselves into, okay? <laughs> But nah, for real, y'all, they only had a few samples. So they had the fish and fries. They had a po' boy, shrimp po' boy, a oyster mushroom po' boy. And they also had like a mac and cheese with some chicken on top. We went ahead and did the oyster mushroom po' boy. And y'all, it was delicious. Okay. 
So this place right here, oh yeah, it's vegan, y'all. They had everything. They had peach cobbler, jerk chicken, tacos, lemon pepper, ATL wings. They had all kind of stuff, y'all. And I think that was just a sample of their menu. But y'all can check it out here, of course. And somebody was ordering the wings. So, of course, I had to go ahead and go do a quick zoom in on that. I was like, let me see what these wings looking like real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> but I didn't try anything from here, y'all. I got to go get my food. I've been waiting. I don't walk around this place like twice. Now, they better give me my food when I'm looking for it, okay? But I'm gonna try to go get my food and then we're gonna see what's happening, what's happening. So y'all, we had to hit up the Seafood Vegan, of course. They had shrimp, oyster mushrooms, and they had crab rolls. I had to go ahead and get me a crab roll real quick. So that's what I was waiting on when I was talking about getting my food. I had to put in my order. Y'all, this crab roll was piping hot and it was so good. I had to go ahead and do y'all a favor and get it up close. Hold up, I had to run that back because I don't think y'all caught that. Did y'all catch it? Now, y'all had to catch it this time, y'all. It was so good. It was on point with that roumelay sauce. Yeah, it was good. Along with the food, the juice, the tea, the t-shirts was out here representing, y'all. So, I had to go ahead and give y'all a glimpse of what was out here. There was also some artwork. There's some paintings of some celebrities like Lauren Hill, Nipsey, Aaliyah, Tupac, all of them. And then y'all, I came across this vegan fashion show. So y'all know I had to put y'all on. So y'all, that was just me patiently waiting for this vegan AF food truck. Y'all had already placed my order for these Philly rolls. They are actually based in LA. They currently do not have a location in Houston, but y'all, they got Philly rolls, cheeseburger rolls, pizza rolls. But yeah, y'all, this is me with my Philly rolls. I was like, it's about doggone time, okay? I've been Yeah, y'all, everybody was waiting for these, so yeah, I had to go ahead and hit them up. They were so good, y'all, on point, definitely cheesy and flavorful. L.A., I'm going to hit y'all up. There was a stage for the performers. There was also the skaters in this area, y'all. There was a lot of popping music going down over here. And yeah, y'all, I'm just walking around a little bit. There's some more t-shirts here. And then I went to the other side of the festival. Okay, so y'all over here, I forgot what this company was called, but they had an herb or tea for every ailment, y'all. There was asthma on there, PCOS, anxiety, depression, hangover, all kind of stuff. Every jar you see was labeled with some type of ailment or whatever. Yeah, y'all, so they had that popping. And in case y'all was wondering about the other green, <laughs> wink, wink, it was there too, okay? Let's see how much 
much you can earn. Yeah. Why me go get like the worm? Yeah. I was trying to tell y'all about this body oil I bought that smell absolutely divine, okay? And then I got called on stage, but yeah, I ain't get that. <laughs> Houston 2023 Vegan Fest is a wrap.